huh? Where are we? We're not... Oh, cruel world. I'm too young and handsome to die. Don't count on it. Alright, on second thought, maybe we just washed up on the shore. Did you see what attacked us? It was huge! What the heck was it, Ami? Nobody told me something like that was on the loose around here. So that's simply not true. What's with that busty babe? She just took off without us. Boy, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind next time we meet. Um... This mallet just jumped out by itself. Whoa. I hate to see treasure run off like that. After it, Ame. I... The, the mallet's been kind enough to wait for us. But still, really, why am I sure? Shouldn't the water dragon have actively eaten us? Is it even possible to escape that? I don't know. I frankly don't care to find out. Because really, this whole water lily pad business is for the dogs. And I'm a wolf, not a dog, so don't even make that joke. Alright, so we followed the mallet here, and the mallet is now gone. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Amatras. Hey babe, what are you doing here? And how come you didn't tell us about that monster? Please just squash him, you have my full permission and consent and endorsement. I will sign it and triplicate, whatever it takes, just take him away. I am. Uh, I'm sure I mentioned something about the water dragon, didn't I? Bah, whatever. Anyway, you better not be trying to trick us. What are you talking about? I was nearly eaten alive too, you know? But however did you get away? You're a rather slow swimmer. What did you say? Take that back! Ame gets kind of sensitive about her flaws. Psha. Psha. I just heard that laughing again. Sorry. The fox rods. If they're not on that ship, then where on earth are they? If they lost at sea in the vast realm of the water dragon, there's no way we'll ever find them. Oh, cheer up. I'd hate to see you and your two friends cry. Please shut up! Alright, we're just gonna move on from that. Cause, fuck this damn bug. But I guess for now we just follow the mallet brick road to wherever- Hello, that's not the- Nope, stop, 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 stop. I have not slept since last episode. Which, depending on when I upload it, could be really funny, but these are also being recorded right in a row, so it's actually not funny. But it's still pretty funny to me. <laughs> Especially given how frequently I, uh, don't upload these. So, Mallet- Mallet-chan wants to go over here. Over here is what makes it stoky stoky. Whatever, that's fine. This is about to get awkward though. <laughs> now we got your corn, you, you, mallet. Please, Izum, address it by its proper name Maruto chan. Or I guess it would be Maruto chan. Chan. Whatever. No treasures ever escaped from the Great Isen, so that's simply not true. I'm gonna sell you to some greedy merchant and... Huh? Hey, wait. Check it out, Ami. Isn't this the place where the swirling mist is coming from? You noticed? You think us chase you here for a reason, Mallet? Wait, I think I get it. Lucky Mallet can shrink people, right? You wanna shrink Ame here? 
Then you want us to go in that creepy looking hole, don't you? I don't know. Why would Hammerhead here want us to go in there? Still, it might be worth checking out on me. I mean, this place has gotta be the source of that mist. If Queen Kimiko's not gonna do anything about this mess, then it's up to us to find out the truth. Anyway, we haven't seen or found a single brush technique in the Sun City. How could we possibly pass up this palace? Okay, Madato-chan. We'll enter the hole. Now come on and work your magic on Furball here. Ready to get hammered on me? I am not comfortable hearing that sentence from you, you disgusting bug. Oh my lord. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, I bet you don't hear it often. Furball's all yours, Madato-chan. Hammer away. It even has a cute bone. Bonk. Oh, there's no bonk. That's not as funny. Now what is the mallet gonna do? Well, it sees me off. Is that something? I am Small Wolf, leader of the Small Clan. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. A few shakes of a lucky mallet reduces things to my size. It's not for clobbering people or anything, silly. Boy, I'll never get tired of messing with your head. I guess he isn't a bug. Huh? What's gotten into you? You forgot what I looked like already? Now you listen here, Furball. You better remember me this time or else. I'm Issen, the wandering artist. You got it? Wandering artist is in times a thousand. Sure. Besides, I'm so dashingly handsome. Who else could it be? Bet you see me in a new light now. I'm so glad that Amaterasu does not give one single fuck. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm talking to you. Ah, uh, forget it. Let's check out the palace. We gotta find out what's behind that swirling mist. You may be no bigger than a dust bunny now, but I bet you still got a lot of fight in you. Why does everybody do that? Damn. Give my poor back a break. Well, time's a wasting. But there's something you need to know first. I mean, this is like a brand new world to you. I'm here to help you when you really need it. For example, see that chest all wrapped in chains over there? If you can guide me over to it with your celestial brush, I'll pop on over and snatch whatever's inside. Come on, let's try it out right here. I am a fan of these, like, extra conditional stuff based on companions. Like, that's cool. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nothing stands in the way of my trusty sword, Denko Mare. But listen up, I don't want you getting any funny ideas. I may be one mean sucker, but don't go launching me at monsters. I mean, I might just lose it if you did that. You'd have to clean up my bloody aftermath. Okay, now that everything's clear, let's get going. Alright, so where's a monster I can launch this dickwater at? Whoa! That was close. Better watch out, Ame. Remember, you're no bigger than a dust bunny now. Better watch it or we'll end up on the bottom of someone's shoe. <laughs> now you know what I have to deal with. Anyway, this mist is getting thicker, isn't it? I knew there was something fishy about this palace. Okay, 
On the real though, why is there like a tiny origin mirror? Like who makes the mirrors this small but also that big? That's just really too perfect. Unless, okay, here's theory. Maybe the orange. Right, anyway, we're just gonna leave. Um, maybe the origin mirrors are like um, manifestations of the gods themselves. So maybe they are created by radiant energy from Amatras, and that explains why when she is small, small mirrors are created. Okay, but really, why is there a giant metal spider there? I don't like this. Uh... Well, bye. Did that not work? Was that really all your pathetic ass could do to this stupid spider? Uh, you got oranges from a spider. Right. Well, I'm never eating those. Ever. In my life. See that, Ami? That's what they call a blocking spider. Those nasty buggers just won't let you by sometimes. They normally leave you alone, but they can be unpredictable. Just watch them moves. Better safe than sorry. Those things look so creepy. Fuck the fuck off. Oh, oh. Uh, pardon me. Whoa. Why'd you hitch a ride? Tired of walking or something? A well, big guy here doesn't seem to mind. So knock yourself out. My goodness. This is a cool level design though. What's that panting? Hey, what's that? Sounds like someone's crying. Oh, is this Kaguya? It's not a jail cell. Someone's in there. They can't tell who she is. She's got her back turned. They usually turn out to be ugly when they turn around anyway, so naturally that's not going to be the case. Plus, we don't want to attract any attention as she raises a fuss. Forget about her. Let's keep going. Ah, <sighs> I wish I could just buck you right into this mist. But how about I just, uh, send you into it instead? No. Ha! Huh! He actually went underwater. Get fucked. Anything else I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. You know, aside from the obvious crying girl. See, there's a smaller shrine too, which I guess that would have to be the same. Um... Hi, you're, you look like a lot like a Thunder Ear, except for you look slightly more dangerous than a Thunder Ear. Or maybe you're just a small version of it? I, I'm not, I don't know, but hey, wind worked on Thunder, so let's see what happens here. That worked. Suffer and die. Nope, I said suffer and die. You've only suffered, you have not died. And then Steve Gale is the uh, floral finisher for this. I guess not. Oh well, it was worth a try. Yeah, that was pretty quick. I'm surprised I got a baby tree for that. Anyway, um, as I was saying... I want to see what that was called. Or who that person in the picture was. Thunder Doom Mirror, used by an actor struck by lightning. Bad acting causes it to appear and rain thunder down. It will leave if the acting continues. <sighs> That's pretty silly. Out of ten. Okay. Is that a dead spider there? 
That looks super creepy. Are you gonna let me through? I thought that was a dead bug. Ha 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 ha! Hello, hello, goodbye. Let me just scoot around the corner here. Holy shit. Oh my god, I almost just got squished. I'm glad his like, foot got stuck there or whatever. <sighs> did... Why did the bomb spawn on that side? And you would think somebody would notice a small bomb going off next to their foot. But I guess you would be wrong. I probably wouldn't notice a small bomb next to my foot, so maybe I can't really blame them. Well, if I jump on the foot... Okay, camera angle, you need to not fuck me right now. Holy shit! <laughs> okay. That thing was like following me in this brush. What the fuck do I do about this brunch? Brunch? Don't treat us like Dutch just because we hate taking baths. I don't think we're gonna get by this clean freak. Okay, then where do I go aside from getting crushed by this foot in the moment? And what was that person even doing? Oh. Do I need to jump on a foot from there? Oh shoot, it becomes transparent, really? Alright, little little foot creature. Or a rather large foot creature. Also, that's large silhouette. Are they wearing a dress or something? Robes? I decay. But if you could just move your foot over here, I would much appreciate it. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Thank you. Wait, is he actually trying to kill me because he thinks I'm a bug or something? That's not enough. I get him more over here. Okay, that should be good, right? Cool. No, 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 I did not mean to go back. But now I can just run this back past the other two things. Uh, the blocking spiders. And I should be peachy keen. Right? To progress. He was definitely trying to kill me. God. Oh, hey. Hello? Is somebody there? Yeah. Hum. Are you mallet bears? It's hard to see from here. Mallet bears? What the heck are you talking about? I mean, obviously we are. Oh, who are you? Oh, uh, just a couple of passerby. Are you that girl we heard crying before? Obviously. Sounded kind of fake if you ask me. You're not some no-good monster trying to trick us, are you? Seriously? Shut the fuck up. What? Oh, no, at least I don't think so. I came to Salem City to sell some of my grandfather's bamboo ware. But the emperor who lives in this place, palace, had me arrested. 
Your grandfather's bamboo ware? Is your grandfather that Mr. Bamboo back in Kusa Village? You know my grandfather? He raised me back in Kusa Village. My name is Kaguya. Moonlight Beauty. Gotcha. But I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. I don't know why I've been imprisoned here. I don't even know who I really am. Or where I originally came from. Another babe? Shut up. I will kick you into the murk. How could Mr. Bamboo have such a cute granddaughter? Well, you just sit tight, honey pie. We'll get you out. The great Isun's gonna straighten out that mean old emperor. Then I'll come back and set you free. No, I... Um... Don't sweat it, sweetie. You just sit tight. We're gonna search every nook and cranny of this palace. And I'm gonna give that emperor a piece of my mind when we find him. So, don't you worry your pretty little head. My partner may not look like much now, but Furball here is actually the great Amaterasu. Now just sit back and relax. We got it covered. Let's go, Ame. Okay, at least you can do the dramatic flip this time. <sighs> I don't know if this will help, but... The Emperor buried some treasure in the corner of his garden. Please don't do anything too risky, you two. You just leave it to us, honey pie. Uh, this womanizing son of a fuck is gonna chill. Lockjaw defeated. Small lockjaw is also strange, though. But since this is a microorganism or like a manifestation of evil, I guess it makes slightly more sense. I decay. These dead bugs are gross and they need to stop. Can I dig through here? Oh no, this is a bomb hole. I don't care if those dead bugs are like chests. I just really don't want to touch them. Neocorns are probably chests, or like, not chests, but like, you know, pots or whatever. Hi, guys. Jackpot! <laughs> Why would the Emperor hide his treasure here? I could smell it a mile away. Check out that funny looking thing, Ame. That's what they call a platform spider. You see, they just go back and forth like that all day. They're basically harmless unless you stay on the backs too long. Some of them don't like it and may end up throwing you off. I don't want anything to do with the spider. Fuck you. You can't make me. I really don't like gross bugs, if you can't tell. I really, really don't. Take me down, shoddy. Well, that's not what I had in mind, but okay. Uh, it's not exactly pots. But they could hold stuff, I guess? Why is that one, like, stuck there? And what's down there? There's a bomb thingy there. Let's see what's up here. That's where we came from. Up here. Holy shit, chill. 
Could you maybe chill? That thing was about to pop off on me. Ah, a clover spot. Never seen one of those before. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on now. Come on now. Oh my lord. Thank you. I guess I have to do smaller thing even for a big clover. You go deal with that spider web. Thanks. Appreciated. That's the only thing you're good for. I mean, I guess talking to people, but you're pretty bad at that. Nope! That, nope. Alright, you come back here right now. Bye. Shh. That thing. That thing. Just... It faked me out, I tell ya. Okay, look. I was actually aiming the bomb here, and it keeps bu bursting on the acorns. Uh, this looks like a place where I would maybe want to be. A flask? Is that considered treasure? Uh, Alright, I guess I don't have a second choice, so hopefully there is nothing useful up over in the place that I didn't look. Because I fell off, but I was going to go there after checking what was down here. Uh-oh. That's a blocking spider, Ame. Wonder why it got so bent out of shape all of a sudden. Now we're going to have a heck of a time getting out of here. I think it's just having the time of its life trolling me. Stupid spider. But don't do anything you'll regret for a ball. These nasty little buggers just love to get in the way. They won't bother us as long as we leave them alone. What if I want to kill it? Can I, uh, tap the cat for money? Looks like there is only one thing to do here. Destroy everything! Um, hello? What? What just happened? Why am I in a thing? Hey. Oh my, there's a strange mist in this flask, too. But it's somehow different from that mist outside. I don't know. It feels kinda... comforting. And what does one do with that? No, really, why... What am I supposed to do here? Why does the Emperor have a flask here? Hmm. It might be this mist bottled up here that he's hiding. So what do we do? Oh, we blow it out of the bottle. Wow, you're getting good at that one. Almost too good. I don't know why the Emperor has hid this flask here, but he shouldn't be hugging such comfort and mist all to himself. Oh, it's actually just drugs. Probably opium. TBH. What? Wait, what? Uh, hey, it's that starlight again. What's it doing here? Same, bro. Same. This is not something I remembered. What power is this even going to be? It's hard to see the tip of my brush.
Uh, that top star is a little off point, but whatever. The sheep is drunk as fuck. And also high, or was. It's quite the hangover you got there, buddy. Matrix sheep just doesn't care what just happened <laughs> ah, I'm a Taraz. origin of all that is good and other to us all after our separation I took to wandering the corners of the earth before long, I was sealed away here by a sinister power. Your arrival has broken that seal. Now I, Kasugami, grant you the power of the mist. Gloosome over all creation like fleeting dew or whatever. AKA 420 blaze it, bro. For some reason, I think that was actually faint. At least that's how it's translated. So that's why this, the Empa hid this flask like it was treasure. Kasagami, the god of mist, was trapped inside. They say Kasagami can wrap the world in a thick mist that slows down time for all things. Really? I really did feel like I was in a dream world with no sense of time. But enough of that. That's one awesome power you just got back on me. If the legend's true, that brush technique can slow down any monster with a single stroke, even a blocking spider. Let's try out that new power of yours right away, Ame. I had no recollection that there is a time slowing thing in this game whatsoever. That's gonna be really nice in certain battles. Just try the mark that's there on the flask. That'll show that pesky spider who's boss. Maybe that'll help me get on the platform spider that I was missing, by the way. By the way? I don't know why I said by the way. What the? Blocking spiders slow down. That really is Kasgami's legendary time slowing technique. Wow, I mean, you really pack quite an arsenal of techniques. Blocking spiders should be a piece of cake from now on. We'll slow down anything in our way, no matter how fast it is. I figured out something else, too. Pampa must have a screw loose or something. I mean, why would he possibly want to trap Kasagami in there? I bet it has everything to do with that swirling mist out there. Honestly, I like, I'm pretty aghast with myself. I, I said really before, and I think it came across as super sarcastic, but I didn't mean it that way this time. For once, I was not being sarcastic, just once. Um, but really, because this is a pretty significant brush, and I, I'm just... Uh, ow. Firstly. I'm just impressed that I would forget it. Especially if there are enemies like this, and I'm sure even, you know, everyday quote-unquote enemies would be highly susceptible to this. Sheesh, this one's fast. How are we supposed to attack it if it won't slow down? Uh, is that a real question? Okay, uh, could you maybe chill though? Right, do I have to do this on the enemy, or does it just work in general? I think I have to... It... No, it just works in general. Okay. That's rad. So that also means that it should apply to all enemies, I think. Not just a single one. Unless it just targets the closest one, so it's still only single. But it also... Does not have to be, like, right on top of the thing? I don't know. 
based on the broom thing that I'm sure I'm going to have to use this to get past, though. Probably it's just the entire area. Which is really strong, so how did I not remember this? I bet I will have to use a time slowing thing on one of those impatient platform spiders, too, at some point. Alright, you, sir, are going too fast. Okay, that's fine. You know, somehow I was expecting a little more than the clover, or a clover, but if this is a lot of praise or whatever, then it's worth. Ah, 20 is fine. I'll call it worth. Um, let's see. Now the way out is over there. I... I missed the ledge and fell into the gap. Beautiful. Alright, so now we go back to the room. And I'm sure the couple blocking spiders along the way will want to fight me. <sighs> and I would like to fight them and exterminate them, but I guess that's not a thing we can do. Yeah, okay. Let's we'll see if that still works. Hey, it does. So that lasts for about five seconds? That's pretty good. You can do a lot in five seconds. Especially if ink flow recovers normally. Hold on a sec. Yep, exactly five. Oh, but it looks like ink doesn't start recovering until after that. Is that just to play delay with everything? Uh, yeah, there we go. No, that started recovering pretty instantly. So, the ink bottle from the time thing doesn't recover until afterwards, so I can't just keep abusing it. But that's still really cool, and it'll be easy to use that a lot, should I encounter battles that need it for some reason. Okay. Now you need to clean slower. Actually, could you clean faster? Because you've been getting that one spot for quite a while. All you guys need to chill out. I don't understand why mist relates to slowing time, though, thematically. Uh, it works visually. Maybe it's mythology I'm not aware of. Maybe it's mystology I'm not aware of. Ayo! That was not funny, but let's do everyone a favor, and by everyone I mean me, and pretend there was. Alright, so where do I go now? Oh. Probably. I can't walk through the tunnel. Only on top of it. Well, that's fine. I hope. So am I going to be able to jump on that one? Probably not, unless I fill up. I want to like fill... Okay, that'll do. Really? I can't get the water from there? Oh, I can't get the water from the fall. Why this? Okay. Well, I can tilt it down myself. I was hoping for water to run through. So this side would be heavier for a while. But if I just go wait really fast, aka slow time down. Ha! Huh, I gotcha.
I gotcha. Take me up. Beam me up, Scotty. Spidey. Is there anything over here? No? Not so much? Am I missing anything? Alright. Emperor! Not looking so good. Maybe I want to brush his teeth. You dig? Huh? Hey! Look over there, Ame. Isn't that the Emperor? I'd heard that he was sick in bed, but I never expected him to be the source of that funky mist. Now how are we gonna straighten out this royal oaf? I mean, we're still too big to fit through his mosquito net. Oh, we'll figure it out. 